was it was a long time ago, so I think I was about five or six years old. So the memory's a little bit blurred. Um, but the two that I sort of remember simultaneously was watching WWF uh, Sunday Night Heat, which shows how old it is, because it's not even on anymore. And it was The Undertaker and Kane against a team called Kai and Tai. For the, uh, the, the connoisseurs amongst you will know who remember Kai and Tai as uh, unfortunately not winning very many matches. And uh, Kane and The Undertaker just destroyed these guys. I remember um, Undertaker was trying to teach Kane how to choke slam and how to last ride. It was just the start of the Brothers of Destruction. So that to me was the coolest thing in the world. And then around the same time, because um, we didn't have like box tail or anything like that back in England, it was just what was on there on local TV. It was a WCW pay-per-view, and it was their version of the Royal Rumble. And my only memory from that is Goldberg coming out and destroying about 60 guys. And from that point on, I was a WWF guy, um, but definitely was hooked on wrestling full time. Very tough question. These are very good ones. Um, my personal favorite WWE uh, or any any wrestling match of all time, it would have to be uh, it would be a Triple H and Shawn Michaels match. Definitely, that's my favorite feud of all time. Um, and I'm gonna go with the street fight that they had at SummerSlam in 2002. But honestly, I could go with any of those because. Uh, as a young boy, I don't think I ever showed him more emotion than I was watching one of those matches. I was a Shawn Michaels guy all the way, and uh, I actually made me angry when DX reformed in like 2007 because I thought, no, like not after everything that I've seen you guys been through. You, you know, you've got to hate each other. They made such good enemies, and uh, but that just goes to show, like the things that they, uh, things that they did in the ring, and the way that they sent you on this emotional ride, and the stories that they told were just unbelievable. So. Uh, any Shawn Michaels Triple H match, but I think the first one that they did at uh, SummerSlam in 2002 is probably the coolest match that I think I've ever seen. So I'll, that's the one I'll go with. My personal and um, greatest moment in AEW would have to be my very first time that I won this baby right here. Um, at Super Clash, it was my 21st birthday. No, my 20th birthday. Jesus, it was a long time ago, um, and I faced none other than the fallen angel Christopher Daniels and beat him for the uh, for this beautiful thing right here for the very first time. So the first time is always uh, something that you'll never ever forget, so that's definitely the greatest moment so far, um, and he absolutely took my whole game to another level, and I was, uh, came out on top, so I haven't looked back since then, so thank you Christopher Daniels, but uh, you definitely are my greatest moment so far in AEW. I have a lot of favorites, and it is a question that I get asked a lot, and it's another one that's almost impossible to pick just one, because as I mentioned earlier, that Christopher Daniels match always comes to me straight away. Um, any of the matches that I've had with Paul London um, and Orlando Jordan are right up there, but most recent in memory, I think it's got to go straight to the top of the list, was just not so long ago, uh, and that was against the Shark in the I Quit match. I think that was, uh, I put the most that I've ever put into anything into that match, and uh, we fought tooth and nail, and I think we gave the fans something really, really special. It's definitely something that I won't forget, he will never forget, because he uh, said I quit, and uh, hopefully the fans will never forget it as well, so that's going to be my favourite match. Uh, the current wrestler I would go with... Um, I'm going to say Kurt Angle from, uh, from TNA. I know it wouldn't get the, uh, more exposure than a match with John Cena, but I think personally, if I could pick anyone, it would be Kurt Angle. Uh, what, you know, because he is still, in my mind, he's the greatest that's still going at the moment full time. So yeah, we'll go with Kurt Angle from TNA. I think we'll put on, uh, put on absolute beauty. Well, Pretty obvious one, that's not to let go of this uh, this baby right here, keep all of that to the end of the year, but uh, it's just to create moments. My, uh, my focus generally in my earlier years was never about winning or losing, it was just giving the fans something that they would remember. I wanted to be the, the last thing that those guys thought about. When they went home from the show and were talking to their family about what they'd seen, I wanted James Grace to be the last thing that stuck in their mind as uh, something they will never, never forget. So it's to create more memories. It, well, it's, become a bit more important to me with uh, with age to to get the old in the W column uh, but it's definitely still to create memories and put, uh, put some great great stories out there for people to never ever forget
First of all, I respect every last single one of you because to be an AEW superstar uh, means that you're absolutely at the top of your game and the cream of the crop here in Australia. And it's just to keep pushing forward. Uh, when I look back to when I started five years ago, All Action Wrestling was still in its fairly humble beginnings, just starting to take off. Uh, and in that five year period, we have just exploded uh, into the top company in Australia. And it's because of those guys in the locker room. That's why I'm so proud to be a champion and to be the world champion. That means that I'm at the top of that list, so uh, bring it, bring it on. I love to be challenged, I love to be pushed, and I hope that every single one of those guys back there in the locker room uh, is ready to bring it to me each and every month. The last four or five months of, uh, of my career have definitely been the toughest, um, but I have had some of the most uh, the most enduring experiences in that ring, the things that I'll never forget and things that the fans will never forget. So. Keep bringing it to me, keep challenging me. Uh, I'm gonna keep coming out on top though, you have to know that. And uh, not only will we push ourselves forward, but we're gonna push AW forward and Australian wrestling forward. So spread the word guys, because AW is the best thing around. And uh, the more that you talk to people, don't be a closet wrestling fan. Spread the word and get people down there. Whether it's at the One Racker Jetty, whether it's in Kalgoorlie, Bunbury, Mirabuka, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is be there. Spread the word online, spread the word through your phones. Get as much word as ground as you can because uh, this is this is what we love to do. And if it's what you love to watch, um, then you need you need to support us as much as you can.